Kenton County Dispatch. Yes, hi. My name is Erica, and I am the HR Human Resources Manager at located in Crescent Springs, Kentucky. Okay. The reason for my... I'm sorry? No, I said okay. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay. The reason for my call is we have an employee that has not reported to work in almost a week, and that's not like her. We've called, we've texted with no response, okay. and it just it's just not like her. And I wanted to initiate a well check. Okay. On December 15, 2022, Independence Kentucky Police were requested to do a well-being check. The catalyst was a disconcerting report from an HR manager at a local company. Amberly Harris, an employee, had mysteriously vanished for an entire week, failing to show up to work and remaining unresponsive to numerous attempts at contact. The HR manager, aware of Amberly's tumultuous relationship with her partner, Tommy Powell, grew increasingly anxious as Tommy was also unreachable. Company personnel took matters into their own hands, heading to the residence where they discovered both Amberly and Tommy's cars parked in the driveway. In response to the escalating uncertainty, the police were dispatched, and the following body cam footages captures a shocking confession. Interrogation Files presents The Case of Tommy Powell. Okay. Hello. Hello. Wait a minute. Is Amberly here? Amberly? She passed away. What? You did what? I can't hear you. I shot her. Okay, hold on. Come here. Where is no, she? I'm inside. I think you're going to put your, put your hand in my back. Where Brady, is watch, she? Watch inside, Brady. What? 26, whole channel. It's hard. Independence, please make yourself known! Independence, please make yourself known! Independence, please, Jenny, make yourself known! Go! Watch your footing. Watch your footing. Clear in here, right? Huh? Clear. Independence police here to make something known! Please, partner, make yourself known! Go. Oh, she's down. What? I got she's down. There's more units. Independence police, make yourself known! Independence police, make yourself known! Okay. You're good. Do you have any weapons on you? Make yourself known! Alright. Clear. K-132 and K-138, third tour is 4653 Beach Grove, 4653 Beach Grove. Twenty-six information. Our male subject answered door. Just admitted to shooting our victim here. So we're trying to figure out further. All right, hold on, man. If independent seven is on, four cams, contact uh, one, two, and three. And four. Copy. Independent three, I'm clear. What was the shooting? Nothing for Tommy. Tommy. Okay. Just sit in your car. Yeah, we'll work that out in a second, but I gotta make sure my guys inside are okay. Rungi, you guys good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Okay. Tommy, I'm going to read you something real quick, okay? Randy, right. Yeah. 
You have the right to make silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney before making any statement and have your attorney with you during questioning. You cannot afford an attorney to desire one the court appoint one for you. You may stop questioning any time but refuse to answer further or requesting consult with your attorney. Do you understand these rights, Tommy? Yes. All right. Is there anyone else inside? Yes. Is it just her? Or my pups. Okay. Is it just Amberly? All right. Is it contained in there? When did all this just happen? Sunday night. So Monday morning. Sunday. Monday morning. It's secure in there, right? I'm going to tell them to slow down. No one else is in here. No. Keep them covered. Alright. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. Alright. Yeah. You're good, Tommy. Just hold on, man. Hold on. I wouldn't just make sure. Um, is there a gun that round? Is a gun in plain view? There's a gun in one of the rooms. Yeah. No, the gun's out of the bed. On the bed. They can proceed. We got. We're secure. Ten forty. Let the channel remain held. Yes, for now. For now, please. Copy. Go get it. Black folders. We get ingress egress. Grab me a pair of gloves, grab him a pair of gloves. Hold on, hold on. Black folder and... Yeah. There's a canine in here. Yeah, I don't think it's too aggressive. Alright. Okay. I think it's okay for now. But yeah. I, I need to stay with them until we get um, more here. Do they need emergency response? I think we're good, Mark. 2016, you have to continue emergency. They can slow down. It's we have the mail detained. They can slow down. Right. Here, actually... Just get their time when they come in, okay? okay. And then uh, we can write it down in a minute because we got to have both body cams in here to where we're filming them doing what they need to do. 26, you can go to the channel. Might as well. I'm just going to go to the channel. 26, you cut yourself off. You also can open the channel. Tommy, what's your, uh, what's your social? You're good, Tommy. Run one by social break. Go ahead. Tommy, pal. Okay. I'm going to take him to the car, Bailey. Just. All right. What's that? Where you want to right. We're just gonna go in the car, right? We're gonna go in the back of the other side. Other side, my man. A little too tight. A little tight. too tight. Hold on a second. Just take a seat. I'm gonna leave this door cracked. You good? Do you need a squad or anything to check you out? Alright, do you want to tell me what happened here? We're fighting. He's trash when I said again. Okay. Twenty six. Call me J Powell. You good? Twenty six. I didn't copy. Call me J Powell. Uh, that's in for middle initials J, right? He does have an NCI. No extradition. Otherwise, he's clear. I'm clear, thank you. Alright, so what? So, run me back. Can you turn the heat on? What is it? Can you turn the heat on? Heat on? The heat is on. Oh. Can you turn? Hold on, man. Can you turn the heat on? 
Alright, All right. do you want to tell me what happened here? When were you guys fighting? Sunday morning. Sunday morning? What started the fight? Her crash my shit. Don't what was it? I'm so, what was it? She was still on my TV and stuff. Okay. And then what happened? I lost control. You what now? I lost control. Lost control? What made you lose control? I don't know. Are you okay? No. So when you say you lost control, what do you mean? What'd you shoot her with? Intense 19 or intense 30. 20 gauge. 20 gauge? Go ahead. Alright, so is a shotgun you shot her with? Hey, I gotta get my body camera. Do you guys need anything from the office at this point? I don't believe so. Alright, Tommy, you okay right now? 7 to 30. Right. I'm gonna keep my eyes on you, but I'm gonna roll down this window a little bit, alright? Yeah. You have your partner with you. Uh, what? He's saying if we get consent to search the body camera of this place. Yeah, Tommy, do we have consent to search your whole house? Nah. Yeah, we do. We do? Yeah. 19 to 7 on 3. You need an extra modified card? Yeah, what do you need? Uh, yeah, bring an extra. To see if they need. We're going to search the house. Oh, chances are they're dying. Oh, my. Do you remember what date, or was it Monday when you shot her, or was it Sunday? Do you know what today is right now? How long have you been inside the house for? Three or four days? Have you left the house or anything? Three to seven, there's no one else at the office. You been in shock since? Yeah. Okay. You don't know what today is, though? Do you know what month it is? Who's the president? Are you okay right now? What's that, Tommy? Are you are you talking to me? Okay, just talking. Is there anything you want to kind of tell me to run me through it, or? Okay. What is it? I can't hear you, Tommy. You don't want to watch her come out? I can move the car. Just give me a second, because there's... They got to go in there and figure it out, you know. At this point, I don't... I mean, he said she's been in there since Monday, so I'm assuming she's not, but they got to make sure she's not, right? Before they just take her. Go to the office and meet Tron. All right, real quick. You don't got it. You don't got anything, right? No. All right. We're gonna go to the office, okay? And then you're gonna speak to uh, Officer Strine there. How long you been in the clo these clothes for? If you want to, just tilt up a little bit for me. Can you lean up a little bit? Yeah, you're good. I just want to make sure there's nothing in the hoodie. All right, you're good.
Good, Tommy? Seat belt. Yeah. Now right, we're going to step out, we're going to walk into the office, and we're going to get in a room real quick, alright? Good? I'm about to pass out. You alright? Alright, we're going to walk into those doors over there. You don't have anything on you that they haven't found, right? Take a couple steps in your right real quick. There you go. What's your name, buddy? Tommy Powell. Tommy? Okay. Okay. Is this for the premises? Yeah, what do you want? Is this for the premises? Water or coke or something or what? Is that what that is? Coke? Okay. Okay. So what's your name, brother? Tommy Powell. Tommy Powell. I'm Detective Stryan uh, with the Defense Police. This is Detective Young with Dallas Mirror. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know anything, man. I was at home just kind of hanging out. Uh, apparently we got a call to your home. You looked up. What's going on? You shot your girlfriend? Okay. So real quick, who, who lives there? Who, whose name's on the lease? Mine. Your name's on the lease? Okay. okay. So, real quick, man. Um, do you mind if we search your residence? You don't mind if we search? Okay. Do you mind signing a document and allowing us permission to search your residence? Okay. Also, do you, do you mind cuffing him and mm -hmm. what we'll do is we'll search? Can I stand up, bud? Search him again real quick, just okay. to make sure. Stand up for me, Tommy. I'm just going to search you again just to make sure there's nothing in you. Oh, no. I know, I know. Yeah, I just want to make sure you're comfortable while you're in the car. Anyone have gloves on? I left mine in the car. Tommy, give us a few minutes, but we just got to do some stuff procedurally, whatever. We'll get you going real quick. I have my gloves, but I took them off when we got in the car, so I left them in the car. Sit back down. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, I got some room temperature coat if you want to try right, that. Right or I got one here too. Since we get done, we're doing. Okay. All right. I I back up, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. You just. I'm gonna make sure nothing's on you. I'm gonna uncuff you, and then we're gonna be relaxed here in a second. You're not hurt or anything like that, buddy? You're not cut, straight, shot at, nothing? You good? Can you just take a couple steps to your right, just so you're not next to that table? Right, here you go. My wallet. Right there. Where's your wallet at? Right here. Is it in your pocket? My left pocket, right It's here. not in your pocket, man. I mean, you didn't have it when I first got out with it. Necklace off. Will fit over. Yeah, hold on, man. I gotta make sure you got nothing, nothing, completely nothing on you. Pick up your right foot for me. All right, can you kick them off real quick? All right, that's actually, that's good. Just lean up. Lean that foot back up. I just got to make sure there's nothing in them. You're good? Right one now. Your right, your right foot. Do your right shoe now. Kick your right foot up. I'll be taking calls for a minute. All right, you're good. So I'm going to slide that back on. And then I'll uncuff it. You all have kids? Okay. They said there was kids stuff over there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You don't want to? I got to uncuff you. I got to uncuff you. 
I'm also in service coming right. in this call. Right. Hey, put him in front. Handcuff in front. front? Yeah. Right. Handcuff in front. Yeah, sure. Sure. It's going to be a lot more comfortable. You still be able to drink your drink every time, you okay? Yes, You want anything to eat, man? You want any of the snack on or anything like that? Okay. I'm going to put you. I'm going to put them on in the front. Then. A lot more better for you. At this point in the video, Tommy started vomiting violently. We've removed the audio and fast forwarded the footages to spare you the disgust. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this right here. What have you been, what, what, what have you had? Is it like a stomach bug, Tommy, or do you, uh, got the flu? What's going on, buddy? Talk to me. COVID. COVID? Okay. Oh, so you haven't been to the doctor? Okay. So Tommy, uh, I know you've been really cooperative with these guys, okay? Um, so here's what I'm going to do real quick. You've already been read this stuff before. I'm going to read it to you just because this is the first time I've interacted with you, okay? And I just want to make sure you understand each of these that I'm going to ask you, okay? I'm sure you've watched cops back in the 90s and whatnot. You know how they do when they talk to people, okay? Now, if you know you're right, you said? Okay, so I'm going to read back to you just because, okay, man? All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say you can will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney before making any statement and may have your attorney with you during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney and desire one, the court will appoint one for you. You may stop the questioning at any time by refusing to answer further or by requesting to consult with your attorney. Do you understand each of these rights that I've explained to you, Tommy? Okay. Will you voluntarily waive those rights and speak with me right now? All right, Tommy, so, so you kind of walk me through the process of how this kind of went through. Um, and before we kind of begin with that, um, we have officers that are at your house right now, okay? Uh, obviously, we need to be able to kind of process that scene effectively, and what will make that scene processing a little bit easier is if you take one of this consent to search form and allow us access to search your own. Is that okay? Okay. So I'm going to walk this through with you real quick, okay? Okay. So how it works is that you're going to sign your name right here. You've been informed by me with the Independence Police, having made proper identification as a law enforcement officer. And if you want to, if you want me to read this to you, I can. You don't. You want me? You want me to read it to you? Okay. But you understand that this is just a consent to search your residence, right? You're giving us authorization to go to your home and search the residence. You give us permission, correct? Okay. So can you read and write and understand English language? And I'm not trying to be that disrespectful. I'm just making sure you can read. So we don't have to read it to you. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is I want you to, if you could please, uh, if you want to just sign this, that way we can get it over to our officers on scene. Is that okay? All right. So what I want you to do is just sign your name, your first and last name at the top line for me. And I'll move this over here for you, bud. You sure you don't want anything to eat, man? Like crackers or anything? Uh, eight, eight, ten days. Yeah, eight, ten days. So, I mean, we got snacks, man. We got crackers. We got donuts, believe it or not. We got all kinds of good stuff. So, I mean, you want anything to snack on to kind of settle your stomach a little bit? When well, we got all kinds of stuff. You we, you mind getting, like, crackers or something there? No. We'll, we'll just set it off here just in case. We got something. Uh, Doritos, salt, you like Doritos? Uh, it's, 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 it's salt, Doritos? Salt is with Doritos. Alright, man. Alright, and this basically right here says the above officers, and I'm going to identify myself as Detective Strine, okay? And this here is Officer Spiegel. And Detective Young as well, alright. The above said officers further have my permission to take from my premises and property any letters, papers, materials, or any other property with them which they, they desire as evidence for criminal prosecution in case or cases under investigation. This written permission to search without a, or without a search warrant is given by me. Is there any reason, any other reason you'd be prescribed that medication, Tommy? Yes. The VA did it. The VA did it? Okay.
What you sorry for? Well, like Detective here said, we appreciate you being cool with us. I mean, it goes somewhere, you know. Is there anything that you've told us this uh, today that you know, I'm having in service shift? Again. Or is there anything you haven't told us to this point that you feel, feel like we should know about? Like, is your example would be like, you know, you know, any cameras that might be in your home? Do you have like any Arlo's ring doorbells, anything like that? What about cell phone? Do you got a cell phone on you? He he had one in his pocket. I have it in my car. Okay. You don't mind? Have you tried to communicate with anybody since Sunday, by any chance? No? Not like like family members, any other friends, her friends perhaps? You haven't tried to talk to them at all? Okay. Did you go anywhere since Sunday? I wouldn't get a cup of cigarette. That's right. Where'd you go to? With the box. The liquor box? Is that the one up near the gas hole in that area right up there? What day was that? Do you remember? You said it was Tuesday? Okay. You a Marlboro man or what do you do you uh, smoke Newports or what? Anything. Anything? You can get your hands on. Anything you can get your hands on. You remember what you remember what packs of cigarettes you bought? Exactly. Uh, I don't think I've tried that one yet. I've always gone with those uh, new school, not quite old school, Lucky Strikes, but I'm usually a Marlboro guy myself. So, so you left Tuesday to go get you a pack, a couple packs of cigs. Yeah. You stayed in the house the rest of the time. Did you go anywhere else? How did you get up there? To the liquor box. I know it's not. I mean, did you oh. walk up there? Did you drive oh, up there? I drove her car. What kind of car did she drive? A RAV4. A RAV4? Okay. Check off a couple things real quick, Tommy, and then uh, we'll, we're going to see what we can do to get you get you squared away, man. We don't want to take too much more time here, so uh, just give me a minute, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Comfortable man, but I ain't tired of me. I know that I know they ain't very comfortable, but you get why. I mean, we got I, I don't know you, man, but you've been cool with me. But that's why I want you in the front, or a lot better in the front and the back, right? <laughs> from originally where at in Indiana Rising Sun Indiana huh? I've been, I mean I've drove by Rising Sun that's about it <laughs> Tom, here's what's going to happen, man. We're going to, we're going to button some stuff up here, and we're going to take you down to the hospital and get you checked out and uh, take care of business there, okay? And then we'll we'll see what the next phase is. Hang tight here for me. Mm -hmm. All right, Tommy, we're going to try to get this thing uh, going here. Do me a favor, buddy. Stand up. I'm going to take some pictures of you real quick against this wall. 
real quick, we're going to try to be as quick as we can, okay? Do me a favor, stand up, stand straight up this way, kind of look at me, please don't kick that over. Goodness, I'm a mess and these ladies would kill me. Stand up against that wall for me. You weren't wearing this stuff. Have you been wearing the same outfit since Sunday? You have been? Okay, give me a favor. Turn sideways, face that way a little bit. Towards that way. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Try to stand up for me, okay? Perfect. Appreciate you very much. Give me a favor. Turn the other way for me. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. What about tattoos and stuff like that? You get a bunch of them? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. I appreciate you, man. Go ahead and take your seat for me, okay? All right. All right. Try to get, get this thing all wrapped up here. Tony, I noticed when I was taking a picture of your hand, what'd you do to your finger there? You got a paint date on it. What'd you do? The other yeah. one, right there. No, the other one. Yeah, oh, the pain, yeah. For the diabetes. Uh, oh, diabetes. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Sounds good. All right, do me a favor. Go ahead and let's. You get your gloves back. Yeah, I got to grab some. Go sit that outside, and then let's get you put his handcuffs behind him and take him out to the car, take him to the hospital. Cool. What's that? Uh, a level of days. Yeah, when we get you taken care of. Are you gonna take you get up here? Let's get you taken care of. Okay. Center for more time. Just at the stable. I gotta put these behind you again, okay? Yeah, I definitely. Like I'm gonna black out. Yeah, we're free. You good enough to put your hands back behind your back for me. Sorry. Try to make more as comfortable as I can for you. Go. So he's in custody, obviously, mm -hmm. and he, and during our interview, he says he feels like he's going to pass out. Okay. The squad checked him out. He says he hasn't eaten in several days. Okay. Um, you take him with your medicine or no? He says he hasn't taken his Depakote, Seroquel, and what else? Trazodone. Trazodone. Okay. So we need to get medically cleared to take him to jail. We're going to move to another room there, Tommy. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. Everybody, I'm Dr. Patel. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened to bring you here? Or do you want them to step out a little bit? We can't leave. He's in our oh, custody. Okay. 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 He's been pretty forth. He's told us everything that we need to know and everything's going on with him. He's okay. been a good man. Yeah. And so what brings you here, though? Okay. Okay. Now, did you feel sick right after this happened? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You been taking any medicine? I was sick Okay. 
until I get relieved, and then I cop whoever comes in or stay with you, and then after the hospital treats you, you're going to the jail. Just a matter of time. So we got to make sure you're healthy. We don't want you. Been cool with us, so we'll try to get you taken care of as much as we can. So you've got first watch. McGuire's going home to get dressed, coming back out, and the sergeants are figuring out the rotation from there forward. I want you to, when you clear here, mm -hmm. have in, logged evidence in, uh, all that stuff or whatever. Am I logging all this stuff? Like, am I logging this as evidence? Yes, or? absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, everything's closed, all this other stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. go for huh? Phone? Uh, yeah, let's just take it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Q -Q. Let's take it. Let's take it. Are you feeling better or worse? Same. Yeah. Did they did they give me anything for the nausea or shit? I think. Did they give? Did they give you not nausea? I thought they something? gave you nausea pills or something, but no. Um, pills? I can't remember. Oh. They gave. I think they gave him some kind of nausea stuff. Okay. okay. I'm pretty sure they no. I don't know if they got the line in them or not. Yeah. They got an IV in you? I think they got no IV. No, uh, yeah, I, I think they're planning on it. I'm sorry? You don't need it? No, I'm going to be here for I think. Following Tommy's statements during questioning, the detectives initiated a thorough investigation into his claims. They meticulously searched the disarrayed residence documenting any potential clues that could shed light on the motive behind Tommy's actions. Among the items seized by the police was Amberly's cell phone. Upon gaining access to its contents, the investigators uncovered a series of videos offering an intimate glimpse into the dynamics of the relationship between the two. A cautionary note, the video recorded by Amberly can be difficult to listen to. <laughs> Call, it. call your boyfriend. Not calling nobody. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going nowhere, Tommy. Yeah, you will. No, I'm not. Oh, you won't? Nope. You won't? Now you want to hit me again? Yeah, I will. Do you? Yeah. Do you want to hit me again? You going to play it again? You want to come in here and knock me in the back of my head again? Oh, yeah, what? Is that what your boyfriend thinks? I don't have another boyfriend. Get the f*** out of my house. I'm good. Oh, and do you want to threaten to throw the puppy out again, too? Do you want to beat on her, too? It's not. I know she that's not what I heard you doing this morning. Why don't you get to you little, little lazy ass bitch? I'm not lazy. I'm about to go to work. Well, you know who, who laid out of work you know because what? they... Don't burn me! I about had enough of that shit. Hit me again, mother... Come on. Hold up, please. Ow! Good. Despite Powell's assertion to detectives that he had shot Amberly after a heated argument while under the influence of alcohol, investigators harbored suspicions of an ulterior motive behind the crime. A crucial lead emerged from Eagle Financial Services, where an informant revealed that a month prior to the incident, an accidental death and dismemberment policy amounting to $20,000 had been procured in Amberly's name, designating Powell as the beneficiary. Facing overwhelming evidence, Tommy Powell pleaded guilty to the murder of Amberly Harris. In September 2023, he received a life sentence. Expressing the profound impact of the tragedy, Amberly's sister poignantly addressed the court during the sentencing, stating, Losing my sister was like losing a piece of my heart. It's never going to grow back.